Hello. Welcome to the TV room. And you know, as I start this, I'm thinking I might just tweak this down just a little bit more. Maybe. Maybe not. Because I'm not quite there yet. I gotta get the pet board out there. Or the, yes, I gotta get the board out of the pet. Anyway, <coughs> I have gathered my soldering things because after going through the di with the diagnostics I think I have a reasonable clue as to what I should do I believe so this weller I'm hoping is not required so I'm going to the cords, they get mangled and tangled, my golly. This is really way too much power for what's going on here. But sometimes when you get a chip that's on the ground, things happen. Okay, so this will be for later, once things are needing to go back in. First... The D soldering, and it seems what we're going after is one RAM chip, I believe. Now, I think I might have diddled this up a bit. I think I will move this up because I need to slide over here to the pet <coughs> in question, and I'm going to pop out a little diagnostic board. I am, and here is a 6502. I do not wish to lose that. I, you know what, just for the moment. Hang on. We are on the air. I'm going to pop this in this bag with disk drive belts and pop it over here. Okay, so it's time to get the board out. The machine is off. There are three connectors. If I, oh, that went pretty well. Okay. And then there are <coughs> the little prongy plasticky things. There are All right, where are my little wee pliers? There are some little wee pliers. Oh, no, no, no. These, these are cutting pliers. They're not what I want, but here's some solder. I'll need that. And we'll. And another thing I need to bring up here. I had a couple of clip-on lights I was using. I took them downstairs. I really need them back. Aha. Uh -huh. Pliers. Because these little clippy things here on the board, they need to be just squeezed ever so gently in the right location. And then not, don't let them fall back down. Because they just... They just sort of hold on for a second. Like, I just want a little finger. Nope. Didn't get it. Just a gentle squeeze, if you please. And then the board comes out. So here, <coughs> here is the pet board. There it is. Lovely. And let's see here. You know what? I'm going to move this big thing and set the board down upside down. And then 
This can move over some. And this can move over some. And this precious thing. This is the diagnostics thing. Replaces the 6502. That, you know, oh, it can go back into its little baggie. Now there's also, hang on, where did I put that? Yes, there is foam that it sticks into. We'll put the foam back on. Okay. So according to this diagnostic -y thing, and there's not much on here, I never did Google for more instructions, but it does seem <coughs> that I am looking for I2. And there's another letter in front of it, but that doesn't matter. I guess they changed something along the way, or maybe, you know. The first letter is insignificant. UI2. So it is right there where my finger is, right between those two capacitors. That's the one that is suspected of being bad. So I'm going to shift this over here. Shift this back here. I'll put the board down. Put the instruction sheets back inside. And I'll put that up here with the discs. And then I will turn the board over and get it in a configuration so I know what it is that I'm doing. I believe it's that one. Let me have a look. That's it. That's the one right there. So what I'm going to do now is I can barely see far away with these glasses. I need to get this iron heated up. So, I'm going to plug it in and make sure that the cord is nowhere near it. <coughs> and now, I am going to go downstairs and get the lights that make this brighter and better and connect them up and have them here. And um, get this chip out of here. And as I look at it, I don't think I'm going to have trouble with the um, with anything being too much on the ground. It looks pretty okay, but we'll see. So we are ready. The iron is warming. So check back soon and because the next video actually I will I will aim at the board not me and everything else thanks for coming have a lovely day we'll carry on in a moment bye for now